Hi everyone, well this is an update video from the last one because the last one it's okay, it's everything okay but it's not updated with the last library of Doc.js and this is this video is for that we are going to talk about the new library and make the same things to how to create a file a multiple files with information from the JS well a JSON and Excel data well first of all we have our button in our HTML I only insert a little of CSS to create only the button but here is the button and the main point is that it has his only ID um, we only have two documents the app.js and the html.js second is we need the libraries we have the libraries this is the very important because it's the main point it has the docs.js library and it's updated the second one is the file server we're going to use it and we link the app.js with our um, a, well app.js and a file the next step is we only have our document query selector get our id button and with add event listener then click if someone clicks the button it will be dispatched with a start pdf G, uh, pdf function and we only s i only have the hi everyone and that's all we have for now then with the new library we need to instance our docs that sorry documentation document and if everything is okay we are going to see something like mm, docs oh, sorry yes we're going to see something like this with all the information that we need for our first document and with all the documents that we are going to create the second we're going to create the section at section dot um, it functions with children children arrays and we are going to create new docs dot paragraph paragraph and here it needs an object and we are going to create the new docs dot text run then oops sorry because yes it needs an array but it needs another children then later well after that we need the docs to text run and this this instance needs an object and this is high sorry high and that's all we are going to export our first document for that we only need two docs dot mm, acre dot to block because it functions with block then we pass the document well with 10 because it's a promise we are going to use the as save as sorry save as the blob and the name of our document first doc dot docs 
and if everything is ok we are going to see our first document here we are here and we say hi ok that's the first step then we need to create our doc more documents and then in this case we are going to use this well we are going to create another function called create just create document and then this we are going to pass this and this create document needs three arguments the first one will be the doc the docs and the name of the doc, doc. and just just wait a minute and for this why because this argument to create the document needs the docs that this that is this and the document remember that document is the container and the docs we are going to print the paragraph and the text and we are going to create another paragraph and another document like this another paragraph another document hi again and then and continue for now in this section we are going to use the Doc, docs and the name mm, in this case I only want I only add a second document and we are going to create the magic here <laughs> the magic well yes uh, mm -hmm. um, And if everything is okay, we are going to see another document with hi and hi again because we create two paragraphs. But for to create too many documents, we need the information of an Excel or JSON. In this case, we are going to use another example with this. Excel, it has only ID, name, country, and age. This information I'm going to pass to this page, convert cs to .com. Why this page? Because it's a little bit easier. And I, it returns all the information here. Well, with this information, we are going to create the fake data JSON. It will be like this. And with this information, we are going to pass to this. But how? For now, we need a for loop. In this case, the for loop um, ah, well, if you want to know more about for loops or loops maps or things like that I'm going to create another post but just wait a minute in this case let y is going to is equal to zero then e is less than fake data dot length um, plus plus then with this what's happened in this case we're going to get something like this and another document but this is not that we wanted we wanted to um, create this a little bit dynamic and that's why we need this sorry to insert in this function and with this is everything 
will be alright. We're going to create another paragraph because we need the. Um, uh, yes, everything. We need the fake data here. Fake data in dot id. Then this going to pass to this and this and then in this case we are going to use the name and the country country and here is another great important thing that we are going to set that we need the fake data in dot name and if everything will be okay we are going to see another 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 document with the information and another document with he, her information and another document with his information but what happened if we need just let me delete the information that we don't need because in this case it's too fast and we want to create the documents without errors that's why we need to delay this doc docs to create be well to delay the function to wait a little meanwhile it creates another and another and another in this case we are going to use the invoke auto invoke function why because it will help us in this kind of things no and inside of this we are going to use another thing but really important the sent time out why because this function will delay our document and this um, yes just and well with an, with an invoke function inside of inside of a for loop it will create our delay with the set timeout because the set timeout is going to create the delay but in this case we need the i with mm, two seconds and in this case with the information of the excel id name country age oh okay i forgot the age we are going to create another and um, with h okay um if you want we can create no that's a little too risky for now no no it's not it's not too risky just in this case we set the id fake dot json im dot id and in this case with the information of an excel or json we are going to create a for loop that inside the for loop it will call an out invoke function that inside of that in out invoke function has a set timeout who has the time between the past uh, number and the second number and the third number and it's increasing the time that we need to wait to create another another word or excel or document it great because it has a lot of documents the errors we don't we will we won't have errors 
that's why we are uh, we are going to do this because with this the information well if the for loop is really fast and the if if we have a lot of documents in some cases the information don't don't complete in the correct manner uh, in the correct way and that's why we lost a lot of documents in that case i i recommend to use a set amount to create another document and that's why we in the in the, my in my past video i have a, that again and well with this the information and the documents will be great and we don't and we don't lost data again the first the second the third and we open charlie it has the one charlie usa and 20 years and alejandra mexico and 20 years if you want to add for example in this case is id name country um, H. You can add it, and um, everything will be okay. Sorry for that because we don't delete this one, but yes, it's okay. And yes, we have everything okay, and this video is updated. And if you want, everything will be okay. This information will be in my new post on Medium or in my channel or in github and don't worry about that i will update the the github and you will you won't need to worry about that thank you for my watching and have a great day or night or everything